What's going on guys, Jay Hoyt back with you today. Welcome back to a little bit of a different video. So, NHL released a kind of community survey type of thing for NHL 19 because they did some testing and whatever and they changed the tuner and did a whole bunch of other stuff. And uh, they wanted honest feedback. And uh, I wanted to kind of go over the survey with you. Now, I have not taken it yet, but uh, I kind of want to do it together. So uh, let me move my mic out of the way real quick, and then let's get started. So it says NHL 19 gameplay feedback post rollback to beta tuners. So they attempted to go back to the beta tuners. However, after playing it a whole bunch, especially with HUT and some uh, challenges and even franchise mode, I didn't really notice a difference, to be completely honest. If you go back and watch my get beta gameplay, it doesn't look anything like the gameplay or kind of feel like that now. So if you would have never told me they did a huge change, I wouldn't have noticed a difference. Uh, so that's completely honest. That's, you know, non-biased. That's, that's my honest truth behind it. Cause I honestly, I didn't notice a difference, but, um, you know, let's just go through the survey and, uh, and see what happens. So they said, thank you for taking the survey. Your honest feedback is invaluable to us. Keeping to or as we keep working to improve NHL 19 so another okay whatever the feedback is strictly about your game experience with the game after the rollback to the beta tuners you only have one opportunity to take this survey so please ensure you've had enough time with the game to provide feedback so I'd say probably 25 ish hut games and uh, some offline stuff uh, I think that's pretty uh, a good opportunity that I've had enough time with the feedback. But all right, let's press OK here and move on to the first question. So on average, which of the following describes how often you currently play NHL? Uh, every day, a few times a week, about once a week, a few times a month, once a month, less than one month. So probably I'd say every day, uh, whether it's franchise mode or hut, uh, pretty much every day. Very rarely do I not get on, at least get the, the collectibles you need to get. Approximately how many games have you played after the rollback to the beta tuners at the time of answering the survey. Uh, I'm not even going to read the other answers. 21 plus. I think it's like 25 or something like that. Uh, when play NHL, how often do you play the following game mode? So play now. Uh, so we got, I play this mode all the time. Play this mode often. I play this mode occasionally. I rarely play this game mode. And I never play. Okay. So I never play for, um, play now. Franchise mode, I play all the time. Ones. I couldn't tell you the last time I played ones. Threes, uh, don't really play that. EASHL, I play this, uh, I play it often. I mean, not all the time, but pretty often. Online versus, uh, I'd say rarely. Don't really play that too much, especially with EASHL actually working now. Uh, Hut Online Seasons, uh, which, okay, so that'd be, oh, I guess, all the time. Competitive Seasons would be all the time. Hut Challenges. I'd rather not play this mode, but I guess I'll just say occasionally because uh, I don't play all the time, but I don't never play it, so we'll just kind of throw it in the middle. Uh, what's the next one? What is your competitive rating CR in online versus? I have no clue. Number four, what is your competitive rating in online versus? I don't think it's actually keeping track of my online versus uh, CR because it says I'm zero and zero with uh, the default everything, and I've definitely played online versus this year. So I don't think that's actually working. So it says it's 500, but it's definitely higher than that. So I guess we'll just put 500 under this, uh, then press OK. What is your competitive rating in ESHL? Couldn't find that either, so uh, I don't know what it is either, but I'm 20 and three right now in club play, and I'm like 16 and four or whatever in uh, drop in so I'm not sure what that is actually can we go back up to number four I'm just leaving these blank because I don't actually know what the the real answers are but uh, what is my hut team overall it is that's a good question too I'm not actually sure of uh, of what it is I think it's like 80 or something but it, I mean it's it's like because I have a bronze goalie if I change that up it would be it'd be like an, an 87 or whatever all right so how would you rate number seven here because we'll skip the rest of those uh, how would you rate your experience of each of the following gameplay mechanics? So we got extremely good, very good, somewhat good, slightly good, or not good at all. Rate your experience of the gameplay mechanics. Oh, gosh. Skating, somewhat good. It didn't feel great at all. 
Uh, stick lift. I mean, it's broken because it doesn't work like any of the time. So we'll go uh, slightly good because it's not completely broken all the time. It's just completely broken most of the time. Hitting and collisions. Where is not good at all? Not good at all. Terrible. Puck pickups. They're, I didn't know that was in the game. Poke checking. You take way too many penalties. Puck physics. Um... Puck physics. Uh, there's, I mean, there's, they're not terrible. Uh, shooting. Um, we'll go somewhat decent or somewhat good for that. Uh, deking is not existent. You can have the best card in the game and still mess up your deke somehow. Passing, absolutely atrocious. Okay, let's go to the next one. So, oh gosh. Indicate the level of to which you agree with the following statements about skating. Oh my goodness. This is about to be fun. So overall, skating felt realistic. So we got completely agree, mostly agree, somewhat agree, slightly agree, do not agree at all. Felt realistic, not at all. When I have those Hut alumni cards that are 84 overall that have like 82 speed, that they can f catch up to my guys that have like 97 speed, there's a problem there. So skating speed felt realistic, not at all. Same thing. All my fast players are supposed to be fast. They're supposed to get around the slow guys. But everyone can just keep up with everyone. Skating was fun. No, <laughs> it wasn't. Skating agility. It feels like nobody's got agility. Not good at all. Skating was responsive. What does that even mean? Uh, so it's like when you want to skate to the right, it skates to the right. Like I, I don't know what that means. But it's probably not good at all since everything else is, is like that. Skating felt sluggish. Yes, completely agree. Skating lacked intensity. Completely agree. Skating acceleration felt realistic. No. Just no. It didn't. Do not agree at all. Skating was an enjoyable part of the gameplay. No, it wasn't. It was terrible. Skating was balanced for offensive defense. No, it wasn't. I have complete control of my skater. Um, no. Honestly, no. Press OK. I think we did all of them there. How would you rate your experience of goaltending? Well, no one ever used their goaltends, so we're just going to say not good at all because the controls for that are awful. Uh, CPU goaltending, honestly, it's terrible because the animations that they come out with are absolutely trash. So uh, when I'm on a breakaway and the guy stacks his pads, it's like, it's why? Or when he goes around the net and stacks it, it's just dumb. Uh, how would you rate your experience of the game controls player switching not good at all it should there should be a worse option than that overall control of game controls um slightly good or not we'll go somewhat good it's not i mean they're kind of whatever uh defensive control yeah somewhat con uh, somewhat uh somewhat good offensive control we're gonna go somewhat good i, I don't know what else to put goalie control goalie controls are terrible uh, I the very few times I've actually played goalie, they've been absolutely trash, and uh, I've absolutely hated using them. How would you rate your experience of the AI? So all the AI players, we got the same things. Opponent AI, they're trash. Team AI are even worse. Next one. Uh, what do you think of the pace of gameplay in the following game modes? So pace of gameplay. So the pace of play. What is it? Hut online. All right, so we got much slower than I'd like, a little slower than I'd like, just right, a little faster than I'd like, much faster than I'd like, or not sure, do not play. Uh, hut online, much slower. Threes, um, didn't really play since the since the tuner. EASHL, I have played it. It's a bit too slow for me. At, no, a little slower than I'd like. Uh, ones, haven't really played it since the rollback. Hut solo, much slower. Online versus... Uh, I haven't played it since, but before it was really slow too. So uh, I think we got all of them there. All right, next question. What did you think of the balance between offense and defense in the following game modes? Heavily favors defense, slightly favors defense, balance, slightly favors offense, heavily favors offense. Um, what do they mean the balance between offense and defense? As far as like overalls go, or, like speed goes, you know, I, what do they really mean by balance between offense and defense? 
or is like AI like whether too strong or not strong enough like if we talk about AI like what are we talking about here so since there's not really like a disagree with it we're just gonna say it's balanced because I don't really know what else to put um hot online I guess we'll just we'll just stick with balance because I don't really know what else to put uh, what if anything did you like about the gameplay with the rolled back tuners two to three sentence optional um I didn't really like it the gameplay I mean like I said before at the start of the video I didn't really notice the difference between the old gameplay and the new gameplay so I don't I didn't really like anything about that one uh, what if anything did you hate about the gameplay with the rollback tuners we we well I notice a difference between the holy crap I need to learn how to spell the old tuner and after the new so weird little jump cut here for whatever reason the recording ended up stopping on me don't know why but uh we always said in the last sentence was we didn't notice the difference between the old tuner and new tuner and that was the last question but if you guys did enjoy hit the like button down below if you have not already hit the subscribe button and as always guys see you next time